Okay, this is lesson 13. Um, so far I've spent $3,250. Um, I've spent 26 hours in uh, the driver's seat of a truck. And uh, so that's uh, three and a quarter days of eight hours. So I'm up to the stage now where I feel comfortable driving the truck around. Um, drive it in the inner city area of uh, the largest city here and um, I'm able to drive it everywhere and uh, go through the gears, stop, start and um, all different types of uh, situations and um, as I say I'm feeling confident and um, able to drive the truck. Yeah so gears, um, driving, lane position, planning etc. It was all good this lesson. Um, I did mostly backing, backing into a, uh, a side street. Um, I did get better as the day went on, um, so uh, so that's good. However, um, my instructors recommended I rent a box trailer, a dual wheel box trailer, put it on the back of my truck, and I'll spend today uh, just backing around and um, reversing and driving around with the trailer and uh, that should just about get me my license I think. Just about the only problem I had with this lesson was uh, forgetting to indicate coming out of a roundabout. Um, you know at work when I'm working, um, when I'm driving my own car I always indicate coming out of a roundabout. Um, however with the truck with everything that's going on and learning and um, observing and, and looking at the rear of the truck and the dimensions um, I'm just forgetting to indicate coming out of roundabouts so um, I've got to get a handle on that and uh, I should be good. Um, a fairly big surprise to me and maybe anybody following these, uh, these videos um, this week was an experiment and um, what I did this week was I didn't watch any YouTube videos, I didn't watch any backing videos, um, couple, uncouple, um, just general subscription videos. Didn't watch any um, reversing videos on YouTube or anything and I actually uh, I did much better. Um, so the, the instructors uh, also got uh, a couple of hours extra sleep and um, I had a good lesson this lesson. The instructors recommend watching no videos just to chill out um, you know front up uh, next week and um, take it from there. So I thought the videos, gear changing videos etc were, were going to help but um, in actual fact uh, it's proven that they, they don't help and it's best just to go to your uh, your lesson and learn how to drive the truck that you're in, um, drive around the roads that you're, uh, you know, you're instructing schools around and um, drive the way your instructor wants you to drive the truck. Uh, so that was a surprise, yeah. Okay, I made some notes during the week of um, things to do with my work and uh, in the previous lessons here. Um, Yeah, um, I'm finding that uh, when I'm using the splitter and I'm using the splitter while changing down that it can actually neutralise. Um, I suspect that would cause problems in a, with a road ranger, um, a constant mesh road ranger gearbox going down a hill with a fairly large vehicle um, that you could neutralise using the splitter. Um, yeah, that could be... Uh, a reason for some of the um, trucks going off the side of the road down hills. Um, yeah, I tend not to, uh, I think the way I'd go is not to use the splitter changing down, uh, especially going down hills. There's a video on YouTube about um, split shifting and um, where he actually takes the stick uh, or the gearbox, puts it in neutral and puts it back into uh, gear while using the splitter. I think that would be uh, maybe the, a better way to go. Okay so this is slip shifting where he takes the uh, 
the gear stick and puts it in neutral and then puts it back in the gear to um, split the gears. Okay, that video is Kenworth K104 getting some tips. The uh, channel's Bryce Baker. And a uh, bit of bad luck getting the license. Uh, I was being assessed, and a big B double was turning a corner that I was uh, going down. I was going down the road and uh, sort of a T intersection. B double came around. That was okay. Then another truck came around, so uh, I was a bit thrown out. Um, because the back of their trailer went into uh, into my lane. And then further up the road, there was a uh, a green light, and I was turning right. But then a, a car shot out of a side street and accelerated hard toward the uh, the truck. And um, I was going to turn right. I had a uh, a green light to turn right, but uh, it just looked like this car was going to come through the intersection, so I had to stop, and I stopped over the line. So. <laughs> It's just a bit of bad luck, but, you know, I mean, uh, nothing like that has happened since, so, I don't know. Anyway, one thing I know is, is it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, I've run out of time. I've got to finish this video later in the day. Um, I've got to go and rent this box trailer and uh, practice backing. Okay, so what happened just then was um, I went down to uh, Kennard's High to pick up that trailer, and uh, it was closed. He told me it had opened at uh, 8 o'clock, but it doesn't open until um, 10 o'clock, so, because uh, it's Sunday, so thanks Kennard's Hire. Okay, so I had a bit of a experience at, uh, at work during the week. Um, this is one dock, and then straight away the next dock this happens. Um, you want to be really careful when walking behind trucks. Um, so I'm out on the street, I've got my flashes going, I've got a, a very loud siren going on the back of the truck and I'm backing into a, into a dock and I see this um, young lady and young man run away from the corner of the truck and uh, I just don't know how they didn't see me so that, that was, uh, you know, that was fairly close. You've got to remember also that reversing cameras don't always work and uh, the reverse camera on the truck has stopped working for about the last six months. So they only last about a year and a half before they start to break down. So uh, don't just assume that, you know, somebody can see you because they've got a reversing camera. And then straight away at the next dock, I'm backing into a dock. The the back of the truck's fairly close to the edge of the dock. And um, this bloke's probably in his 60s, 65. And uh, he finishes delivering and signing off. And he, he actually walks with the flashes going and the loud siren. He walks behind the truck with less than a metre gap between the back of the truck and the dock. I put in about um, 45 applications um, for work. Uh, if you want to become a truck driver, this is something you really need to consider. Um, before I started out as a truck driver established and I phoned around that the truck drivers were actually needed. Um, However, as my um, career advances, I find out that that's not really the case. There's not very much opportunity out there. And um, I can't find my second job. And yet, uh, let's see, I, I had a, a few experiences uh, during the week. For instance, there was a driver and he was with a fairly well-known company. He couldn't speak English and he couldn't back a van. He couldn't drive a van. And uh, this was in a fairly um, complicated tight dock and yet uh, he found work and uh, he couldn't speak English and he couldn't drive his van. Another thing that happened during the week was um, there was a guy and uh, you know he couldn't drive either, he couldn't back up a van, he couldn't keep it straight and um, and yet he found work so um, I don't know what's going out on out there but the, there's not all that much opportunity um, I find uh, maybe for Australian drivers. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. As you can see there, 33 
applied jobs. Of course I've applied for more but that's the amount that's gone through and out of that is uh, one interview and uh, that's it so far. And I've got a license for the largest uh, rigid truck you can get. I've got uh, six years of driving experience and I've been trying to become a truck driver since uh, 2009. Yeah, so that's six years of trying. So before you hear that, uh, you know, truck drivers are needed, um, just remember that there's very, very little opportunity and it's very hard to work your way up unless you have uh, very good luck or you've got connections or, uh, you know, a member of your family's in uh, truck driving.